What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going over new games that got released this week on PlayStation 4. We're also going to be going over some pre-orders and a free game weekend and preview some themes so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Doing the video a little bit different than I normally do so if you guys do enjoy it make sure to hit a like, support your boy by dropping a comment and let's get into the video. First let's go over some pre-orders that are available on the PlayStation Network store starting with Go Ghost Recon definitely does look like it's going to be a good time and I'm actually anticipating this game to be a great one. Of course we have Star Wars The Fallen Jedi and another game that I'm actually looking forward to. Go figure, you know EA? Ah! <laughs> but Star Wars, yeah! EA, ah! <laughs> With the announcement of State of Play, we have Medieval that is available to pre-order now, and I'm itching to pre-order. I don't usually pre-order uh, video games, but Medieval definitely looks like one that I'm interested in getting. You can pre-order it, it's available for $30, which is not a bad price, I would say. We also have Monster Hunter World Iceborne available to pre-order, that is going to cost you $39.99, whoa! Next up, we actually have Rage 2, which is available to pre-order, and I am honestly excited for this game, and it's going to be like my most anticipated game for the month of May. What are your guys' most anticipated games? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, I get a chance to play this at E3, and it was a lot of fun. The colors, the vibrant uh, world that they created, and also the gameplay, shooting people in the face. Who can not love that? We also have Sniper Elite V2 Remastered that's available to pre-order for $31.49, and then if you don't pre-order, it's going to be $34.99. Let's go ahead and jump into the new games that got released this week. And first off, I actually got my hands on Ghost Giant PlayStation VR game. Definitely do recommend it. I'm going to be hopping on and playing it. I'll have a video up for you guys this weekend. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But the first game that I actually wanted to talk about was Love's Craft Untold Story. It's going to be going for $14.99. It's definitely got a feel of like uh, Dead Nation. It's got a nostalgic old school gameplay type of feel to it. So definitely check that out if you get a minute. Pretty Arcade also also just got released the price is going to be $19.99 for that it's two to four players and it'll be fun if you guys are looking for more of a you know couch co-op experience now if you're a racing enthusiast you probably have Xeon Racer on your radar it just got released the deluxe edition is going to be $54.99 anybody going to be jumping on this game let me know in those comments down below you know I have to show some more indie love and Bomb Chicken actually is released as well and that's going to be going for $14.99 it's a fun little quirky game that actually caught my attention Black Ops 4 just released a new DLC with new weapons new maps, new specialists, and new game modes. Are you guys going to be jumping on Black Ops 4 this weekend? Let me know in those comments down below. Let's go ahead and check out some free themes that are available to download right now and slap on your PlayStation 4. We got a new theme that got released this week. I previewed it on Tuesday's episode of Deals and Offers of the Week. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go do so. Today, I actually wanted to showcase the Game of Thrones free theme if you guys didn't know it's available to download and if you're a game of thrones fan this is pretty awesome since i know you guys like free stuff paladins has a free weekend and it actually started on your boy's birthday on wednesday may 8th and it's going through the weekend they have all the champions unlocked and you can play them they also have double xp and i believe double uh, battle pass xp if you guys actually you know bought a battle pass but the game's free to play you can go and download it Try all the champions, see what your cup of tea is. I've been experimenting with a lot of different champions, and wow, the playstyles are completely all over the place, but nevertheless, it's a lot of fun, and it's an easy platinum. I actually have like three or four trophies left on uh, the game to actually platinum it. Uh, it is a grind, though. If you guys are going for the platinum, it is going to be a grind to get to a couple of the trophies, but nevertheless, it's a free-to-play, and they have a free weekend where you can try all the champions. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to support your bot by dropping a like, dropping a comment. Of course, if you 
you guys are new, I'm going to keep you guys up to date on all of the latest and greatest in PlayStation. I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome. Now, you guys have been asking about all of my animals. Uh, meet Akira. She is... <laughs> You guys ask me all the time to see my babies, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you Akira really quickly. <laughs> now, she is the most lovable and adorable dog ever, but we also call her the destroyer of worlds because she will literally destroy anything in her path and dig giant holes. Then again, she is a husky mix, so 